Good afternoon, YTPC. Just enjoying uh, the last of a Peterson 2017 Christmas tobacco. And today I've got my Machiavelli pot estate pipe which I bought, bought from PPMN. I've mentioned that in the previous video. Quite inexpensive. Machiavelli wasn't, according to authorities, uh, an Italian make, but some other country put it on there because they thought it was sell better. This is the Como model. They're extremely well made, beautiful briar, and lovely big pots. So a bit of a mystery, but a great pipe. Well, this is just a short one today, 28th of December. My little iPhone is struggling to play church choir music, Christmas music, but that might work better. Well, um, so you know we've got a lot of new entries to YTPC, which is great, and one of them is all briared up, and he just reached uh, 100 subs. And he's racing onwards from there. Made a lot of videos, very interesting, good videos. Take a look at them. So he had a, a gore, uh, which I think is running till uh, Christmas Eve, midnight. So still got a chance to make your VR if you want. So he asked the three questions, which is how did you get into pipe smoking, what's your favorite tobacco, and um, are you, why would, what would be your reasons to continue and go forward? Yeah. Well, I suppose the notion of pipe smoking got into my head at a young age when I was about eight and used to go for walks. I've told that story several times with a, a man who did smoke a pipe with lovely aromatic honey tobacco and I always thought you know I'd like to do that one day for most of my life I've not really been a smoker um, I dabbled a little bit in very light cigarettes when I was maybe 25 30 I moved on to the occasional cigar just I don't know five or six a year on special occasions And then I tried a pipe, and by then I was, uh, I must have been in my mid-40s then. But I tried it with a non-filter pipe with simple tobacco, uh, asking the tobacconist to give me something. It wasn't a cherry uh, aromatic, but it, I said give me an aromatic honey, and. I'm sure they gave me an English blend because it had so much oriental in it. I remember the powerful uh, flavor. And then I thought, hmm, um, it was one of those young assistants that probably didn't know anything about tobacco. Uh, and then I, I thought, yeah, there's something to it though. I must say it's very, the process is very relaxing. And then I left it alone for, uh, I don't know, maybe seven or eight years, um, and continued to smoke the old uh, Dominican cigar from the Dominican Republic. I like the ones that were like Davidoff's, um, but I found one, one or two brands which were not as expensive as Davidoff's, and uh, had a humidor and all of that, and offered them to guests when they came round. A lot of my friends liked, again, the occasional cigar. Lonsdale's, a bit thinner but longer. And then I watched uh, a few YTPC videos back then, uh, three years ago, 
of course, good old matches, and I like the stories, and a, f a, f a few others, of course, Mutton Shop and others, and I started to realize there's a lot of good advice and experience here. Why don't we think about starting it again? Um, because I, I knew that the process of smoking a pipe was relaxing and um, there was certainly a lot of improvement potential versus where I, my first start was. And then I got a little Capitello 9mm pipe with a Meerschaum bowl, a bowl insert and I I ordered one or two online smoking pipes, uh, aromatics, one, one of which was uh, Sir Walter Raleigh aromatic. And that was it, because I realized, oh, this is so nice. This is so pleasant. Um, I used to occasionally get headaches from cigars, especially if I had a, a bourbon or two, um, even only just a glass or two, that shouldn't give you a headache from the alcohol. Um, and I couldn't really smoke uh, Cuban cigars, I found them generally rather strong. But I sort of fell in love with this first experience of, of a nice aromatic in a filter pipe. and. Uh, it all rapidly went on from there in looking for further pipes and further tobaccos. Which brings me, what is my favorite tobacco? And that answer to that question will probably change over time. And I've probably got five sort of top draw favorites. But it will always be changing a bit as time goes on and your question was which is your very very favorite mm, it's hard but I have to give it to Rich Dark Flake Germains because that taught me that a tobacco on its own can have enormous sweetness and um, beautiful rich sugary molasses flavors and also I learned at that point that I'm probably favoring a flake, put it that, that, that way. Not only gonna smoke flakes in the future, but I certainly look more and more for what flakes I can add to my collection. Very close number two is Sir Walter Raleigh Aromatic, which I still love greatly and I'm glad I got several tubs of reserve in my cellar. So the third question is how do you plan to continue and what would your reasons be to continue? Well I've invested quite a bit of time and effort and um, money in pipes and tobacco it would be very sad if I wouldn't continue. I basically just love love it. Usually every day a couple of bowls, one or two rest days in the week and carrying on at that tempo. I mean if, if I got very ill or there was some health reason that I had to stop of course then that could be the reason but uh, Otherwise, I can't really imagine anything else persuading me to stop. But another reason uh, is that the YTPC is such a great community and I've got a lot of very good comrades and, and friends and dear friends in this community, which I love to have conversations with, even though we're far apart on the on the world surface, but we we can still enjoy each other's company. I enjoy all the things that 
you tell me in the uh, videos and the stories and things about your life and uh, things you enjoy and all these other topics that we mix into our pipe smoking experiences pipe smokers do you know we we're storytellers aren't we <laughs> I did mention in a previous video um, I actually confessed to my mother she didn't really know I was smoking a pipe since uh, two and a half years or three almost three years and um, but she immediate reaction is oh I could see that I could see you with a pipe you know her father was a pipe smoker so um, and I'm one of the children that is probably a, a bit more like that line from my mother's line so those are my my answers I have Greatly enjoyed um, the videos from All Briar Up, and he tells us about many, many things in the tobaccos and pipes he's trying. He made a great start, I must say, and uh, very, very pleased to see how many young people are now getting into YTPC and carrying on the tradition. And within two or three years, they will be also the mainstays of our community and the thousand suburbs plus uh, it's just a matter of time um, but it's always I think good to have nice growth from people entering our happy merry band of men and ladies and very pleased to see there are some new ladies who have started making uh, Briar Broom, for example, and some others. Finally got my little uh, slim Zippo here with my name engraved on it. It's working right. I've re rerouted the wick through the cotton that it absorbs uh, better the fuel. Half a bottle of eggnog. Left. I'm pacing it to try and make it last until the 31st. Cheers. Very pleased to see um, Cliff Higgins is largely recovered and uh, thinks even to go back to work. That's great news. I do hope he's your wife is um, also making progress and getting better and to anybody out there that um, has had this terrible virus um, I hope if you have it that you will recover very soon but it really seems to affect almost every family now and in our circle we've had maybe four or five people who have had it fortunately uh, young people who recovered pretty quickly without too many problems but um, anyone who's a bit older it can really take hold of you going into the new year I think We'll have a different perspective because we will have more and more people who are vaccinated. God be thanked. Okay, that was just a quickie for this time. Probably New Year's Eve. I'll uh, make another last video of 2020 and I'll see you all then. You take care everyone, look after yourselves and keep enjoying the Christmas time as long as it goes. Cheers. Bye-bye.